Okay, let's go to CBDNN for a minute and just have a check out this directive with the cops because, you know, with folk like Fields of Green for All and everybody else in the background moulding this legalisation and basically pushing the boundaries of the laws all the time so they have to change and suing the cops if you can. This directive, I am sure, has come out as a direct result of two years of people now in, or a year in the grey zone mm -hmm. of the judgment, yeah. where mm -hmm. people are starting to sue the cops for their aircon units and all the rest of the shit. Our record at the moment is somebody got half a kilo back in PE. What? Yes. Yeah, no, he got he was raided. It was wrongful arrest last year sometime. Yeah. And he's a big yeah. fan of the show. Maybe no. he's oh, fantastic. Um, Maybe shortly. he's listening. Yeah. Um, so <coughs> there's some groundbreaking stuff, and we've talked about quotas and police quotas on this show a lot because it's insidious. Mm. The cop says, the main man says, right, I want 30 dacha of us by the weekend because we've got to up the numbers. It's a quota. Basically. It's that. It's a yeah. damn so, quota. Do you want to run us through a couple of things, Joe? Because it's, it's actually turning a corner, and this is from this the is main cop news. to every cop. This was penned by um, General National Commissioner uh, Satole on the 19th of November this year. And it goes out to everybody, every single body. And basically, the little bits that I've highlighted are, is he's, he's saying that arrest is, you know, constitutes one of the most dramatic infringements of rights um, of an individual, and members should really regard this as a last resort. So, and that's where he starts off, that's point number one. He's saying, like, hi, guys, arrest should be the last resort, the very the last thing one. that you do, not the first thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, well. Point two, he <laughs> said, in the Concord, um, held that the SAPS can be liable for an entire period of detention of a person, even after they've appeared in court, if the detention resulted from an unlawful arrest. And this is where it comes in with all of the money that's being spent, the, right. the 150 million, million, whatever yeah. like yes. it is, of our money, is these unlawful arrests. Um, he puts here point number four, it has also come to my attention that there are commanders who are clearly issuing unlawful instructions relating to the arrest and detention of suspects. Um, examples he's put here are the setting of targets, as you've mentioned. Yeah, that's the insidious one. Mm. Mm. The second one that he's mentioned is arresting persons for a minor offence, uh, in respect of which a police of official actually has no power to arrest, where he's not actually supposed to arrest. And that's when they go into their description of assault. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to actually arrest the oak, you give him a right. summons or a fine. Um, he says the one of the other things he's not happy with is the arresting people pure, purely for the purpose of taking a statement, a warning statement, uh, to arrest people for shoplifting just because the shop owner or the security wants it to happen. They're uh, not supposed to arrest uh, bullshit. them. Sure. I mean, That's I've bullshit. sat with these courts. We've been yeah, we've sitting sat in these seen courts. Women with the little tiny, like three-week-old baby on their back. They've been arrested for shoplifting a baby. Grow, you yeah, know. and then oh. and then it's also like being in being in detention in the police holding cells for sometimes three, yeah. four, five days. And raped yeah. how many times? Yeah. Because there's yeah. What about the last gogo? Seven days. Yeah. In yeah. cool. Brits. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So that's, guess, that's cool. And then and then um, instructions requiring members to detain arrested suspects for a full period of forty-eight hours. Yeah, so he's yeah. he's not happy with the instructions being. They will stay for 48 hours. Because the blog post I wrote started off with, yeah. they love coming on Thursday. Mm. Yes. Were yes, you, you busted on a Thursday? Uh, yep. yep. Funny Every, that, funny that, isn't it? Every, and then I was right. delayed until the following Tuesday. Yeah, yep. No, no, that's, that's what this memorandum's about. This is that has to stop. This is exactly. Because the, you've been living there for 20 years or whatever, you can prove you're there. Mm. You're not a flight risk because you'd be a complete dick to actually mm. jump bail for a weed charge. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. on the <laughs> run for possession. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay, so they are not allowed to arrest persons for serious offences, even th um, though that offence was committed in self-defence or private defence. So if I come <coughs> into your property and you shoot them dead because you're taking your space, yes. they're not allowed to arrest you for that. They can't take it. It's also we're talking about weed. No, I know, but <laughs> there's, there's <laughs> things that they no, can't. No, 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 I heard. Because, I heard. you know, if there's been the situation where someone in the cannabis family was broken into, attacked, armed robbers, and he had to kill the person in self-defense, like was going after his son. Yeah. And that then was, he grows yeah. cannabis and the cops came to his house uh, and, and you know, like, yeah. so it does. I got you, I got you. It, all of us are susceptible, unfortunately, to the crimes. 
Um, instructions requiring members to wait until the middle of the night in brackets. He's yeah. been put there for they no apparent up. reason yeah. other to than to the morning, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, is no longer allowed. Um, even though we know that the, the suspects are known and have a fixed address or a job, etc., etc. You know, if they know this stuff, they don't need to take you to jail. No, they can arrested just your house. That's yes. that. uh, <laughs> Somebody's just pointing out here, Spike or Hunt. Mm? What if I just axed them to pieces on my lawn? <laughs> <laughs> Prior to that, he does wow. actually mention <laughs> cock for cops. Yeah. 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 All the way. Yeah. All the cops. You're, you know, Mark. Um, <laughs> point number six, uh, which is my favourite. Uh, any instructions of the uh, above mentioned or similar in nature? So all of these things that he's not liking, 48 hours, midnight arrest, all of that are to be withdrawn with immediate effect. And that is in yes. bold and it's underlined. That is in bold and underlined. That's a hell of a... That's, that's it. Every yeah, cop in the land. Is, that is... Stop that is, this shit already. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, this has got to go viral. Yeah. yeah. This this is, we, we're sharing yeah. it on the website and yeah, I'm telling people, viral. print it, yeah. download it, share it, know all it, read it, it, highlight yeah. it, and keep a copy with you all the time. And also, yeah, I was speaking to people in like the broader drug policy... Um, world yeah. and they're super excited about it. They'd also not heard at the TBHIV Care Association, you know, they work with lots of homeless people and they work with um, um, sex workers yeah, and yeah. they work with, with, with Which is with another thing like that, that should be legal but Really anyway. vulnerable populations. Everybody who works with vulnerable populations must know about this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So okay. well done to your yeah. oh, yes. friend, the Honourable Satole, for yes. actually writing this. I think it's great. Nico Kanya, I've been unlawfully detained five times in my life, four for cannabis, one for an unlicensed firearm. It was actually an air rifle found in my paintball bag. Mm. I got put in Hillbrow for that one. Nothing ever came of any of those cases just thrown out. They don't even fill out. They don't, exactly. fill, they don't even report But you get left right. with the PTSD of having to be an oh, well, well, exactly. that, that's extra costs of getting an attorney or a lawyer exactly. or somebody to come and get you out. It's ex bail, it's ex all well, of that shit. Have you always been in a woman's, they treated you as a woman, yeah? You went crazy, there's some crazy shit goes on. Sometimes the women no, get. I'm very fortunate. Like my, my, my history is way back. It's way right, back. Right. You know, right now. I'm, okay. So like it's 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 not something that's current. I got much smarter. Can you get your yeah. applied expunged yet? No, 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 no. So nothing's really cut. Not, like there's no there's no criminal no charges. There's no criminal oh, charges that have stuck. So awesome. you know, like Same I was us. very I was very yeah. fortunate. After That's all cool. these years, I still don't have a criminal record. Per <laughs> I was supposed to be punished. I'm not too Yeah, but it's one a hell of a process. No, not really. <laughs> And well, speaking of that, it'll cost you like 150 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Really, yeah. honestly, yeah. you don't need a lawyer for an expungement. Yeah. Or we'll, we'll we do have a fantastic um, uh, mm. team, uh, Simon Delaney Attorneys, mm -hmm. and he is a, um, a human rights attorney, and mm -hmm. he's a good friend of ours, and they're having what's called an expungement clinic. Oh. And they're going to, they're going to um, hold workshops and how you can go and get your own thing expunged mm -hmm. and, and whatever. Obviously, they also need to make money and pay the yes. rent of the yes. family. So there will be small charges along the way, but they'll do it very reasonably and try and get like as many people to go and get the ball rolling. So then they That's can awesome. also report back to us and see how the expungement process is working. And if it's not working properly, and then we'll just have to make a big fat noise about yeah, it and get them to... To yeah. just get their shit together. So interestingly enough, my son, who is now 22 years old, was mm -hmm. arrested a year and a half ago. So they were off chasing skirt, you know, like boys do. And they pulled off in their car, boom, 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 everything's going. And the cops pulled up behind them and they had 1.5 grams. <laughs>